Hello YouTube, this is The Bucket coming at you today with the Ruger SR9C with a Laser Max Spartan green dot laser on it. I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, I'm not a laser fan. Uh, if, you, if you're aiming correctly, you really shouldn't see the laser on point anyway, so I've never really seen the point of a laser. Every laser I've ever put on a gun or if a gun comes with a laser, you know, I, I just really don't enjoy them. Uh, I, I don't find the value in them and I think if anything they actually make you a worse shot or at least make you uh, have you reinforce bad gun um, etiquette. So when I picked up this firearm, it came with it. So I figured I'd give it a go. I'd give it a shot, not expecting very much. And I shot the first five and couldn't believe it. Actually, really, really shot accurate. Uh, could you know? I, I just didn't want to like it, and it turned out that it actually ran pretty well. I shot it some more. I was at a range. There's a bunch of people at the range. It felt a little ridiculous having a laser um, <laughs> on my gun as I was shooting, especially at the, the kind of distances we were shooting at. And, you know, I was impressed. It worked really, really pretty well. Uh, as far as um, when I mounted it, and I, if you check out my first impressions videos, it'll show you how to do it. Put my laser bore sight. You will see when you're looking at this particular firearm that the laser's down here and the barrel's up here. So I zeroed this at about 25 yards. So at seven yards, I was not hitting a uh, point of aim, point of impact quite as well as I should have. But if I would have been shooting at 15 to 20 yards, probably would have shot better. That's more for where I zeroed it and less about what this is actually capable of. Uh, I did get done shooting it. It is on there real tight. It, you know, it, it did very, very well that way didn't move very much if, if anything at all uh, my final five shots were this a good tight group on that I was impressed with that if you look at the first five shots uh, without the laser and then with the laser it's a little bit of a tighter group I'm not gonna lie to you so the laser actually probably helped out a little bit so that was a, a nice um, an, a, a unintended uh, outcome for this particular firearm. It turned out really pretty well. So if you're thinking and you want a laser, uh, the Laser Max Spartan might be a, a pretty good use uh, for you guys if that's what you want to. Has it sold me on the idea of needing a laser? Probably not. And you know, when you know, you're dealing with a small gun, dealing with a lot of distance here, it, it really does have some drop of uh, over short distances and so I'm going to always focus on my front iron sights but I have a buddy of mine that he goes out shooting with me and for years I've been working with him and he just really seems to struggle with keeping uh, the uh, bullets on target and you know what I might give him a chance to try out one of these lasers and that might be helpful because I found when I was shooting it I really wasn't even looking at the sights I was really kind of just pointing the gun and seeing where the laser was pointing and pulling the trigger uh, which again is not probably the way that you want to train, but for somebody that really can't hit with this, this might be a good option for them. So I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel. I love the likes, the comments are always appreciated. Any shares that you've got would be great. And as always, you stay classy, YouTube. I learned a lesson. Never half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing. <laughs>